This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV TV for Monday, June 14th. And we begin with record-breaking opening match ratings for the World Cup on Univision. The Spanish-speaking network scored huge with 5.4 million total viewers for Mexico versus South Africa. Now, combine that with the 2.6 million viewers that ESPN collected for the same match, and that's 8 million in total. We'll get you the USA-England match numbers plus more World Cup ratings tomorrow. Hey, we're starting a new regular feature here at the TV TV, and we're calling it the Social Network Barometer. We're going to report on how fans and followers of selected networks feel about their offerings, ways and means, and branding. And here's an example. Discovery and TLC initially took a lot of Facebook and Twitter flack a couple of months ago regarding the Sarah Palin reality show coming soon to TLC. Now, the uproar died down a bit, but now it's ramped up again, courtesy of general anger fueled by the disaster in the Gulf. So, once again, both Discovery and TLC are taking it hard on the social network chin for embracing Palin, which, according to fans and followers, is not consistent with the Discovery brand. Over at the Weather Channel, they're actually getting some kudos on Facebook and Twitter for assassinating Flickin' a Forecast. But this enthusiasm has been tempered by viewers who still want universal, live, continuous forecasting and not reality series programming. And finally, how did CNBC fare with their social network fans and followers regarding the suspension of business reporting last Friday night in favor of a movie? <sighs> Yawn. They didn't seem to care. So apparently, no harm, no foul. Now get ready for another edition of the TV News Social Network Barometer coming soon. And very, very sadly, we must report what we learned over the weekend. Television has lost one of the real lions of the industry with the passing of Robert J. Wessler. Wessler was the former president of the CBS television network and president of CBS Sports back in its heyday. He was the executive vice president of Turner Broadcasting and was the co-founder of CNN. And this leads me into this week's edition of The Big Picture. I was fortunate enough to work directly with Bob Wessler for over a decade at Turner Broadcasting, at ComSat, and on some very innovative projects down the line. Without a doubt, any and all success that I have enjoyed in the TV industry has been because of Bob Wessler. And you know what? I'm not alone. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands more, just like me, who Bob gave opportunities to and then rewarded them handsomely. Bob was a tough taskmaster and would never tolerate anything less than excellence. He insisted upon innovating, but I believe in my heart that Bob Wessler is one of the very few people in our business who really put vision into television. Thank you, Bob, from anyone and everyone who has worked with you. Thank you, Bob, from the entire television industry. Now, I used to tease Bob every so often about the only endeavor that he ran, which was not an unqualified success. It was called Cable Music Channel. It was a, a Turner endeavor. And the very moment CMC was launched, Bob punched a giant-sized button on the air, and he uttered, Take that, MTV. CMC was a colossal failure, and for years and years after, whenever Bob and I would disagree, and I, I thought he might, he just might be wrong about something, I would punch an imaginary button and say to Bob, Take that, MTV. And of course, Bob would scold me with just a mere look. I and many, many more who are very beholding to Bob Wessler will miss him dearly. Somehow it's not right that Bob should leave us so very soon. And to that wrong, I say, take that, MTV.
Future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. If you want to talk to the TV industry, become a sponsor of the TV News. To get started, click right here at the tvnews.tv website or you can drop us an email at advertise at the tvnews.tv. All right, listen up. In just about a week, the world's greatest media marketers and designers will gather at Promax BDA, the conference 2010. To learn more, you can log on to promaxbda.org. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We will be back tomorrow. And remember, if you've missed any editions of the TV News, you can catch up PDQ in our archives with just one click. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.